Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Erotic Book Club podcast, the college humor podcast where we read erotic books and then discuss them. I'm here. I am Jessica. I'm here with my co host. Hello, I'm Reka. And we have some wonderful people joining our book club today. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Malin. Welcome so much, sexy lady. Welcome Welcome so much. (laughs) I feel sexy already. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I feel sexy. Good. Uh, So this week, the assignment was The Phantom's Liaison. Uh, This was written by Lizzie Vega, real name. (laughs) Who knows? Who's to say? Who knows? Who's to say? I Uh, say no. (laughs) <laughs> and this is book one in the Phantom Liaison series. So we're getting right at the start of this exciting journey. Uh, some characters, if you have not read it, uh, I'll let you know who we'll be talking about. There's Meryl, our lead act, or not actress, our lead woman. <laughs> our lead character. Our lead lead character. Woman. I'm always thinking about what's the movie going to yeah. look like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have Haley, a neighbor in her building. Uh, Jet, another neighbor, Turtle, their landlord, and then of course the Phantom, whose nickname is Tom. Get Fan it? Tom. Phantom. Phantom. Uh, so let's start it off with the prologue. Okay. So we're introduced to the book. Yeah. And we meet Turtle, but th- uh, we realize later that this was years ago. So mm-hmm. in the prologue, Uh, Turtle is 27. He's in his building with this older woman who he's finding kind of sexy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're looking at a stain up on the wall. And the woman is saying that you can't do anything to the stain. You can't remove it because the spirit of the phantom is in there. And if you do something that she's been able to capture it in there. And if you do something to it, it will release the phantom. And and something a little interesting there. He said, I can't, I can't even paint over this stain. Yes. And she said, no, you'll break the seal, mm-hmm. which to me, it's enforcing the seal. But yes. I guess I don't know. I guess it depends yeah, on the kind know. of paint you're using. Yeah. You would have to go right. to Home Depot. You have to go to Home Depot and ask. That's the thing. What did we think of the prologue? Um, I thought it, it set things up well, because it does end in sex. The prologue? Yeah. Do they have sex? sex. Yes, 100%. He has sex with the old woman. She's like, that took a (gasps) lot out of me. You're right. Now it's time for sex. Yes. They they definitely have sex. But that feels like sex on their own accord because the phantom has been sealed. Right. But Mm -hmm. it's still hot and it's still (laughs) sex. You're right. So I don't understand. Yeah. What is the problem? You are. There's no problem. Okay. I have a quote. It was, uh, the phantom has made the witch horny. Let you and I talk payment afterwards. And then that is the cliffhanger that the prologue leaves us on. Mm -hmm. Um, It just sounds like an excuse for a landlord not to do shit around the apartment. Yeah. (laughs) I feel like my landlord would say this. (laughs) Turtle. (laughs) My landlord. So now chapter one, Mm -hmm. uh, 25 years later, uh, we see Turtle is showing our lead Meryl around the apartment. Yes. Uh, We get a very odd description of her. So bizarre. The description is, her skin was the color of mocha and her mahogany tinted hair was long and naturally corkscrewed. Okay, so sounds like me. And she had (laughs) soft Caucasian features except for the lips which were all, uh, which were somewhat wide. Her eyes were startling wide and subtly tilted upward like a cat's with rises that were an intriguing mix of green and gray. If only he were 20 years younger. There you go. Turtle caught himself thinking, right? I did misread that. Um, So this woman is a brown woman with curly hair, but she has Caucasian features. Except her lips. Except her lips, Mm -hmm. which are wide. Yeah, not too brown. Not too brown. She's not too brown. (laughs) She's still white enough for her to be a fully white woman on the cover of this book. (laughs) It is a full, fully a white woman on the cover of this book. Just, yeah, if you were nervous at all. It is still a white woman. Don't worry. In case, and her eyes aren't brown, so please don't shit yourselves. They are are a beautiful green or gray. They aren't brown. Dear God, kill us all if her eyes were brown. 
So she's walking around the apartment. Uh, she sees the stain. She asks about it. He lets her know, please don't do anything to it. It's the one thing about the apartment you can't do. Mm-hmm. We also learn that she is a virgin. Yes. That she's from New Orleans. She lived with her grandmother there. They've never, uh, uh, she's never had sex. She's been very sheltered all of her life with yes. her New Orleans grandma. Yes. Mm-hmm. She's even uncomfortable saying sex it's not even a thing where she's like i just haven't met the right person she is just so uncomfortable with the concept of sex yes or anybody hitting on her any guy or anything like that which makes something that happens a bit later made me think um that maybe she is a lesbian spoiler alert but then it's rest assured that she's also not a lesbian so don't worry we didn't read that kind of doesn't have brown eyes and she's not gay (laughs) (laughs) she's in the graduate program at the ucb uh not the upright citizens brigade (laughs) but uc UC Berkeley. berkeley um yeah so she decides right then and there to take the apartment but of course what's the first thing that she does Oh boy. Oh Let's take boy. a guess. I bet I know. Is it does she leave the stain as is? No. <laughs> what is, is that? She's she gonna paint over it. Straight to the stain. <laughs> yeah, like she like a gal feels inclined to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. She they do indicate though that she felt compelled to it. It yeah. wasn't yes. just, Oh, I don't like this, I'm gonna paint over it. Yeah. She has something inside her that she was she couldn't let go. It. Yeah. There's a little yeah, something yeah. pulling her. To Here's get the thing. Soda. If you're this landlord, wouldn't you not sell this apartment? Listen, but mm. they many when you make times, it a storage room mm, or something. Many times they allude to the fact of how badly he wants money from tenants. <laughs> like they'll be like, Yeah, such and such horrible thing was happening, but he really wanted the rent money. I just think this is such a liability. I mean, this is a lawsuit mm-hmm. waiting to happen. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he the, the backstory is many people have cycled out of this apartment. Many, many tenants have gone in and out of this apartment and there's no explanation why. In well, the one woman lived there for like 24 years, Mrs. Stevens. Yes. But I don't know why Tom wasn't into her. She was just kind of boring, I guess. Oh, I thought the implication was she really enjoyed Oh, yes. I'm with that's you. Her, that's what I thought. I thought with the yes. Phantom. And and his yes. well we'll get to what I spoiled it. Yes. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> yes, yes. She did enjoy the thing. And so therefore he did not haunt her. So now we're in chapter two. Yeah. She mm-hmm. removes the stain and she feels compelled. She feels compelled to remove the stain and then once it's removed, she feels compelled to walk across the hall to meet her uh to Haley, her neighbor. Yes, like a gust of wind like blows up her dress, right? Yes. And then she mm-hmm. all of a sudden feels possessed. The a wind little bit. you can imagine the wind going C- up like her a, vagina. Like a creepy little <laughs> like a little hand kind of sort of like Super know. Mario up the pipe. <laughs> that is some nasty wind. I don't want to think about the wind that way. Just, yeah. just, just a little a, a gentle wind, just, a just fingery a, wind, mm-hmm. yeah, right up the old <laughs> vagina, wind. yeah, and Very the butt beautiful. hole. Uh, Haley has soft hands, uh, older woman, red hair, pixie cut, heavy makeup, and she's wearing a figure hugging tank top and jeans. And she is a uh, bartender. And Meryl, through her whole description of her, and it's the first person that she sees and is into. This is what made me think that maybe Meryl was gay. Yes, totally. Um, And she even said even her armpit is pretty. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you're interested in her. Which I'm gay, and I don't think anybody's armpit is pretty. So this lady's very gay. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Oh, and then we also meet Jet, the hottie who lives in the building as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jet, Jet Tomlinson or something. What mm. is this? Last? It's some very crazy, like bubbly letter. You're making up character names. Kind yeah, of yeah, name. yeah. Uh, and he's bisexual. Yeah, really. Wants Which to know. this book mm-hmm. has an issue with. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, oh boy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Haley immediately calls Jet a fag. Uh, and then it's supposed to be kind of witty banter back and forth, but it's, it's so harsh. Nope, and one of make the sense. first things that our girl Haley says that you're kind of like, oh God, I hope yeah. nobody fucks you. And and they uh, but, but they do. And they describe him as someone who will have sex with anything. And doing that in tandem with being like he's bisexual, they keep saying he has indiscriminate sexual taste, mm-hmm. which is so offensive. Yes. Yeah, I do have the <laughs> quote: "He'll hump anything that moves, man, woman, dog, anything." Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Uh, Anyway. But we meet them. We see a bit of Haley and Jet's banter, which may come into play later in the book. Maybe not. 
Uh, and then we also, for the first time, hear the Phantom's point of view in this chapter. So now we're hearing what the Phantom is doing to Meryl and to everyone in the building. Yeah. Uh, he's very excited to turn this timid virgin into a slutty woman. Yeah. And he can sense that she has witch's blood. Yes. That he calls her a little witch all the time. Yes. And I guess, I guess that's... That's nice. <laughs> and I guess that's <laughs> nice. It's a compliment and in phantom culture. Yeah, in phantom culture, it's very positive to say So that. the phantom has her brush her hair. Uh, I guess they have. he has the brief introduction. He wants them to meet the people in the building. Then she goes back home, brushes her hair, and then goes uh, over to her neighbor Haley's apartment and knock at the door. And then that's where the chapter leads off. And this next scene is is sex <laughs> yeah, it's, sex a sex scene. Scene. It's, it's a sex scene right. we're getting to our first sex scene yes. so then we can really get into the meat of this book it yes. takes a while to get to the sex there's not for me enough sex there was yes. not this was 26 percent of the way through the book yes. yes right that's kind of a lot for Too late which is also and how you judge books now is what right. the little tab on the book <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i have 60 percent book left yeah <laughs> yeah definitely not enough sex yeah Mm-mm. there was a, this woman was the author is very interested in having like a narrative component to like this mm-hmm. felt very much like she was like I can't just write straight erotica there has to yeah. be a lot of like metaphor and like yeah. story and plot yeah. which I did not need I think they no. thought this no. was going to be like their 50 shades like there's a like yes. I would be curious if this mm-hmm. was even based off something else the way that 50 shades is right mm-hmm. Um, so there, Haley gets a knock on the door. Uh, Meryl comes in, and then uh, Haley's kind of confused. She's starting to set up stuff for Meryl. She looks over, and Meryl is buck naked. Buck. How often have you guys described being naked as buck naked? We were talking about is it? I say butt naked. I, I would say butt as well. I have heard but. both. I've heard buck wild, mm. buck naked, butt naked. I think I say buck. You say buck. Really? Buck this is naked. like a little gradient. Wow. I think. Yeah. Which I mean, do you I don't think often is... Say, I usually will opt for naked, but if I'm going <laughs> to add a descriptor, yeah. I think I would say, say buck, buck, buck naked. naked. Yeah. And is it sexier? <laughs> no. To say buck naked? No. I think butt is sexier. I want to see naked. you butt naked. I want to see your butt naked. <laughs> I want to see your butt naked. <laughs> I feel like I hear it inter- like applied to like when a kid like... Is like running around buck but, naked. Like it's not a sexual descriptor. Yes. It's like a to wild, me. like it's come like, on. Whoops, put on your clothes. Mark. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the thing. There's something very like juvenile about yeah. it. I was like, this is our first sex scene and this is how we want to describe yeah. things. Uh, Meryl is naturally hairless without the benefit of wax or razors. Which is a the, man wrote one that. of the <laughs> first times when you're like, Oh, a man. Yes, yeah, yeah. a man totally. <laughs> mm-hmm. With, Oh, without- she's just one of those gals where nothing ever grew down there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, she's eight. <laughs> she's eight years old. And she's buck naked. She's buck naked oh, running around the house. Little alley. Uh, yeah, that's super nasty. Uh, so these two, as described in the book, mash their breasts together, mm-hmm. which is someone who has been with a woman, I I can never think of like, oh, well, like we're like pushing our boobies together. It just seems so <laughs> gross and juvenile to me. It's a I've man wrote think- this. Yes. It's a porn thing, <laughs> yeah. right? I think it's like, it's done in lesbian porn, so yeah. I feel like yeah. that's what this man this has to just yeah. smash at them. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't think I've watched enough the lesbian porn. Of, like people yeah, mash viewer. boobs for yeah. sure. Oh man, no. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Was girl. it enjoyable? Oh, I'm. I mean, I'm not even thinking of a specific like instance. I feel like it's common. I, yeah. Is it like a slap or like a schmuck? No, it's, it's like. like a, I think it's also while making out yeah. and like touching other parts. It's not oh. just. But it only does feel not. like strategic. Like yes. oh, we're yes. meeting. Yeah. Meeting yeah. Here. In the middle. Uh, yeah. I could see our that. breasts get in the way. Oh, uh, the, the, the oh only my. thing between our love is Do you is happen to have breasts as well? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my, my. My Lord. The puzzle pieces connect. <laughs> so uh. the two women begin uh, to uh, finger one another? Yes. yes. Yeah. Heavy fingering. They're Heavy inserting fingering. their fingers into their, their hot slits or something. The, yeah. She has all right. sorts of ways to describe a vagina in this book. But it uh, definitely yes. sounds like the kind of fingering that's like just inserting... Yeah, with no clit not like clit stuff, just like 
Ring, dun, 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 that dun, isn't dun, the way that you dun, guys dun, get dun, off? Dun, dun, just with dun, someone dun, jabbing dry, your pussy? With a dry sandpaper <laughs> freaking woodpecker? Yeah. A scratchy nail? Yeah, a scratchy nail. nail. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was that too visual? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the book is when the women are about to make love. Um, I forget which one. I think it's Haley. Ha- in her mind, you hear, God, thank God I bought the fake leather couch so that like a real leather couch I would never be able to get this juice out of. <laughs> and and honestly, I have had that thought. That not about buying leather, but you got to put a towel down that, if it's on the couch. It's on the couch. People sit there. You, you have guess over. That's rude. That is freaking rude. Yes. yes. Uh, I That part, I was like... Maybe this is a yeah. That, honestly, <laughs> yeah, that's the one part that's like, r- that, yeah, like she okay. was thoughtful. Mm-hmm. What no. if it, like his wife read it and was like, She's "You like, gotta add put this. a towel down. <laughs> put, put a put towel down. Ain't couch. nobody want their <laughs> <laughs> and two women. We got double the trouble. Put <laughs> a towel <laughs> that's down. That's a witch's brew. <laughs> that's, that's a, a witch's witch. brew. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so boy. they have a short little do it session. Here is a question that popped up: Is it? A threesome if the phantom is making her have sex with the other woman. No. I don't think so. Think I don't so. think so. And you don't think so at all? Not no. Not even a little bit? Not even a little uh, bit. Because here's Whoa. the thing. I don't think either of them are gaining pleasure from the phantom being there. I think the phantom gains pleasure from being there. But yes. I don't think mm. Hallie or Meryl gets... Like Meryl, I mean, first of it's a little fucked. Meryl's being possessed yeah. to have sex. Yes, with it is extremely yeah. fucked. Yeah. So yeah. that's not consensual. But I don't think that like Hallie finds it. Hallie doesn't know she's being possessed. Right. right. And Meryl isn't quite aware. She right? doesn't know what's I happening so. yet. Yes. Yeah. I don't think so, it's a threesome. And I think for it to be a threesome for me, I think everyone have to be like enjoying that threesome. Yeah. For me, I like to know that I'm in I, one. I want to know that I'm there. I need yeah. to know I'm in one. <laughs> yeah. But for me, and something that should have been mentioned way earlier in the book, but made a lot of my worries about the book a little better, was in the end, it says that the phantom only goes off of your own natural desires. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's something that's like deep inside of this coy little virgin, and she's just begging Fanti she's to She's begging it Rub boobies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so does that change your mind? That it's a no, threesome? No, it's still not no. a threesome. I can't believe no one agrees with me. Okay. Jessica. <laughs> I just think <laughs> if someone was in my mind, if a physical... There's two right now. Someone is also... At this point, she doesn't know that there's... She doesn't yeah. know that there, she. what's going on. And who... Yeah, because who's... Because also no one is pleasuring the phantom is getting pleasured but Do the phantom need, isn't pleasuring anybody is and that yes. what makes it threesome i Maybe, think someone could sit cuck, in the corner right now hold? Right when someone cuckolding when you, uh, when you is watch. when you just yeah. watch is that a cuckold? I think this is, is yeah. it a cuckold. <laughs> Computer <laughs> cuckold. A series is a Okay, Google. What what is a cuckold? <laughs> is it a cuckold? Google. What is cuckold? Honestly, cuckold is such a good word. Yes, you should call. Hello, cuckold. Hello, cuckold. Hello, oh, cuckold. cuckold. Responding was when you wanted somebody's wife, or when you oh, wanted oh. like, oh, you're a cuckold. You're taking somebody's. Uh, partner. I think it has to do with watching. I don't know. But I think it is often, yeah, a guy who lets, who maybe watches someone else have have sex sex with with his his wife. wife. Well, could a cuckold be a division (laughs) of a threesome? No. Why not? I think maybe. I think it is is sexual. If it is, it's division like three. Yes. I don't think that's a grade A threesome. I just don't. I'm sorry. What do you mean? mean, But I think it is a division. Yeah, I think it is a division. Man being cuckolded is deriving, you know, like is a submissive yeah. type. I yes. feel like, yeah, that would be a subset of threesomes. But I do think, threesomes. I do, maybe this is more of a, like a voyeur or peeping, peeping phantom mm. situation. <laughs> I was going to make that joke. Yes. Yeah. Because, this book is smarter than I thought. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> because, because if, even in a cuckold, you a cuckold, you cuckold? know that the third person is there. Ideally, they're not yes. just like in a closet, right. Right. a proverbial closet, no, like yeah. watching. Uh, yeah, I'm I gonna think have to the, put my foot down. Absolutely, this is not a threesome. <laughs> Katie, wait, has is someone put, just sitting in the Jessica, corner? Jessica, Katie, I has think you're. I have down. put my foot down <laughs> because they are a part of the sexual experience. You two are getting off more because someone is watching, and they're getting off watching regardless of what they're doing. Right. I would like to move on because I'm getting pretty heated. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is chapter three. <laughs> <laughs> We're only three chapters in. Okay, so these ladies do it. End of story. Sex. Chapter four. That was a very contentious chapter. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, 
So now Meryl is wondering exactly what happened, what's going on, why did I just go over and fuck my neighbor? Who is a woman also. Who I think is that a woman. Also and she her. started to question too, am I gay? And mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be that she was open to things, but then it was yeah. it was a shutdown. Definitely not. Mm-hmm. Um, which right. is a bummer. Yeah, yeah, that was a bummer. Or just at least buy, you know, something. Be by. Be by. Be by. <laughs> be by. 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 And then it's the first time that she meets Tom. When she's back in the room, Tom presents his true form. And this was sincerely my favorite part of the book. I did this love the This was the, the way hottest that Tom part. Looked. Tom is this big, it's almost like if the David came to life and had a giant erection and he was made of gold. And I kind of imagine him, he's almost like kind of metallic y and yes. liquidy too. Liquidy. Yeah. I don't know. I like I like like one of those like trapper keepers where you touch the front oh, and I was like, Oh god. <laughs> no, yes. like one of the mucinex boogers. Oh it's not a with mucinex. An erect <laughs> mucinex not an erect. Boogers. No, it's no, not just like the mucinex <laughs> guys. No, it's like the galaxy. It's swirly. Yeah. It's like it's contained. It's not the mucinex booger. I would yes. never fuck the mucinex booger. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. I have Bullshit. I would Bullshit. never No one believes that. <laughs> Truly no one. <laughs> So we meet Tom, um, <laughs> we, and we see him and his beautiful golden dick. Uh, he's, he's, he himself says, do call me Tom. It's short for Phantom. They add that in it, just in case you didn't know as the reader. So this is for readers of all levels. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he makes her watch plus. him jerk it. Yeah. Yes. Which at the time, of course, now we're talking about consent, didn't yeah. feel so good. I think they just had to move that. He brings yeah. out what you want. They had to yeah. say that. Cause they, it was like, this is a problem. I was like, dude. This is where they say, isn't this where they say that really fucked up thing, Jess? Where it says it felt only right that uh, where is it? Oh yes, fair is fair. He yes. made her do those things to Hallie while he watches, so she was only returning the favor. No, is no the logic of why she stays and watches him jerk off. So he made you have sex with someone, and he watched. Therefore, you owe him watching him have sex. Yes, mm. makes no sense. No, no. certainly so not. That is Mm-mm. that's fucked. Meryl is. Very much a she's a victim. She's a victim, and she's got very twisted thinking. Yeah. And I really, she needs to see a therapist. I am nervous for Meryl. I'm very nervous. Um, mm-hmm. and she does. Oh, and then he spits out his phantom seed out of his right. wee. Yeah, yeah, he spits it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Yeah. Um, he finishes and disappears, and he says, "My work here is done." <laughs> Can you imagine if you were with a guy and he jerked it on your wall and then said, "My work here yeah, is done." done. Honestly, I mean, if it was a one night stand, I, sure I wouldn't mind happened. one bit. Yeah. Probably. Mm. My mm. work here is done. Chapter you made five. A mess. <laughs> Clean the <laughs> cum. Get back to the cum. Is it physical, though, if he's a phantom? Is it his cum? Ooh, or is like, it like a wind? Did it disappear or it, when he I just thought of it, it shooting was... in the air like a river, but in the air. That is so cool to me it's so fucking hot i don't think it's hot i think it's beautiful i'd love to see like yeah. fan art of it if any of you are artists yes. out there and Please. would like to draw tom the phantom did you guys imagine him any other way i was the david i told you what i accidentally gritty did. <laughs> <laughs> i accidentally i don't you know how like Despite how f- someone could describe someone in a book, you're just like, I already locked them in as yes. this. It doesn't matter what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Okay, do you know the villain in <gasps> Princess and the Frog? Yes. The the big no. the purple clothes and the top hat, and he looks like, really <laughs> slick. I know exactly who you're talking about. I imagined it as him. Hmm. I find Disney characters very sexy. I was very into Jafar. Oh, certainly. Especially when this Jasmine was like in the red outfit. Jasmine looked very hot I in mean, the red yeah. outfit. That is one of the sexiest scenes I've ever seen. I mean, but it's scary. Hey, that's <laughs> love, baby. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Chapter five. Uh, Meryl is alone. She needs to scrub her soul. Her words. This poor girl. Because she saw a man jerk it, even though she felt she owed him that. <laughs> she does yeah. say as well, if my grandmother were going through the same thing, she'd know what to do. If my grandmother <laughs> saw a phantom jerk it hard in front of her, she would know just what to just say. 
And this uh, is a virgin without Wi-Fi. This is the exact moment. Ma- Malin has this. pointed yes. out something very crucial. She doesn't have Wi-Fi or even a smartphone with a data plan. That's yes. what yes. she says. This poor virgin without Wi-Fi. So she literally has never seen. I mean. I don't know what kind of sex education she's getting in Louisiana, but I suspect not great. Yeah. And so she's truly never seen any of this before. Yeah. She definitely right. wouldn't have had a way to like watch porn not or anything. Not a dialogue. No way. No, it's too slow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is wild. She should be more traumatized, I think. I, this all, that's like, yeah. Yeah. crazy. Yeah. But totally. it's inside of her. You're right. Right. The it's desire. inside us the all. The desire. It's inside <laughs> us all. And mm-hmm. it was being repressed. That made me kind of like Meryl, or at least feel for Meryl. Yeah. I think she had a bit going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she goes to the library because she ain't got, you know, no beep bop electronics. <laughs> and then she comes back and tur- and Haley's in the hallway, Turtle's in the hallway, Meryl's in the hallway. We all in the hallway. I say it because they're all kind of doing a look at each other. Yeah, and these awkward. two are looking awkward sexual tension, and Turtle knows something is up between He's these two. He's seen this before. He's seen this many times. He suspects yeah. that she's scrubbed her walls, and the Phantom is back. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, Turtle is right. Dun, dun, dun. Um, <laughs> Oh, no, I'm good, I'm okay. good. So um, so Turtle goes into her room with her. She explains what happened. I scrubbed the wall. The horny ghost came. He's like, yeah, I blah, know. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 you know. <laughs> and he does. Um, yeah. <laughs> and Meryl in her, uh, herself at this point thinks that her witch blood is able to control Tom a little. Oh, so in the one scene, we did forget to mention that Tom says, you can either stay and be my plaything, or you can leave. Like the others. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Meryl in kind of her her first big moment says no I shall do neither I shall stay and not be your sex thing yeah right Mm -hmm. very powerful Um, and she and Tom is like ha 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 but then he feels a bit of her power because she does have this witch blood so see this lady wrote a lot (laughs) she she wrote a lot there's been one sex scene (laughs) yeah (laughs) hey Uh, so then uh, Tom comes out and interrupts the conversation and is like, yeah, Turtle, I'm back, and you were the one who did this to me. And then he takes Turtle into Turtle's room, and I mm-hmm. think they have sex. They do yes. have sex. Yeah. I think they do have sex. Yes. It's not described in the book. It's implied. And the next right. day, Turtle has never looked better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Turtle mm-hmm. looks good. Meryl's words. He looks 25 years younger. Mm-hmm. Where are we now? Yeah. What kind of, do you guys think the Turtle and Tom sex was hot? No. I mean, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Just instantly, no. I think just it wasn't described in any way. It didn't at all do anything to me in, in and my another reading. Well, but in your mind, I think even off screen, I, yeah. think screen? Even off screen mm-hmm. I wouldn't no. have found it hot. Turtle is absolutely not an appealing not. person to me. No, Turtle no. seems gross. I yeah. think there's something about a hot Adonis and kind of like this, sh- sh- like. D- schlubby. Landlord, schlubby yeah. old man just having little kisses that I like. If I it's like them like kisses. if it's touching yeah. each other's face and then like yeah and then getting to it. I don't. I kind of like them what together. What are the rules of the Phantom like deciding to occupy a body and going out versus like mm. he himself taking like corporeal form and doing turtle? That's, yeah, right? that's the thing too because I think he might have just made him jerk it all right. night, or yeah. he jerked. They both right. jerked. And is I that a threesome? I don't. And know. is that a threesome? <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, no, I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, my huge issue with the book, and I'll say it halfway through, is that no one, we, we never see sex with this phantom. Mm-mm. Yes. And what a waste. Isn't that crazy? Right? I mean, you just seem jerk it. And when I hear, it, it like, the sole yeah, reason. sex ghost, I think he's going to be sleeping of with course. all of the people. Yes. And that's and, how it should be. And he right. has other worldly powers. He can get into crevices that no, didn't we talk about this last time, about, yeah. like, crevices that no one else yeah. could get to? This this ghost could find a new you know, mm-hmm. pleasure zone. Yeah, in your cervix. He could get to your cervix. He could check if your IUD is in there and find your new pleasure zone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but most importantly, like, see how the IUD is doing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. Um, yeah. And he's just always erect. I like that about him, too. Mm-hmm. He yes. just shows up and he's fucking, like, hard as a rock. Yeah, that was nice. And no one is getting <laughs> on it. <laughs> That's nice. true. There needed to be more mm. boning. I love but depictions. Simply not yeah. enough. Yeah. Depictions of demons that have erections. They did it in that one movie with Jonah Hill. 
like the world will end or something like yes. money ball. And there's like a j- money ball. <laughs> I did it money ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, turtles never looked hotter. Chapter mm-hmm. six. Mm-hmm. Uh, he takes him out to lunch, the two ladies, and he gives them the lowdown of what is going on. Um, and Haley does not believe it. Of course, Meryl does because she's seen Tom, but Haley's like, you guys are crazy. No way. Um, and this is when you also find out that, yeah, he finds your sexual nature and then has it come out. Yeah. So Haley's a non-believer up until <laughs> Haley goes back to the house and runs into our boy Jet. Who she, like, kind of hates. She, oh, yeah. She, yeah. like... Really thinks he's an idiot and like super judges his bisexuality. She's yeah. cruel to him. Yeah, she's very rude. She says hate speech yes. every time she sees him. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's meant to be flirtation that is written just very poorly? A hundred percent. That was the vibe that I, I got. mean. Yeah. I think so. What? What? I mean, she drops the f bomb again. Yeah. In this interaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's not a nice woman. Mm-mm-mm. Um. Haley does refer to Jet's dick, if you didn't know these guys are about to fuck, as this dick of all the dicks in the world. Yes. Yeah. That was beautiful. This dick had a walk into into my my (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And he walks in buck naked. So Jet is now possessed Mm by the phantom. Yes. Goes into Haley's room because the phantom knows, I guess, Haley's a non believer. I I don't know. He just likes when people fuck. (laughs) And so he goes into the room and these two go at it with no foreplay whatsoever. He just slides into her apartment and straight into her pussy. The quote is, without further ado, that is to say, without any foreplay whatsoever, Jet plunged his entire length into Haley's hot, moist, and tender slice of heaven. Did it say punched? (laughs) Plunge. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. I thought you said, oh. yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's that's better. <laughs> that is so yes, it's, gross. It's so gross. But yeah. I, I heard punch, so it's better. I heard and read punch. <laughs> is that just supposed to be a hot thing? Like, without any foreplay, I was able to no. just get someone so, but like in somebody's mind, in someone's world, is it supposed to be like, oh, I'm so fucking good. That just the second she sees me, she's, she's dripping wet. and ready to go. Yeah. I yeah. guess if you're that hot and someone is already wet looking at you, that's really great for you. I just can't imagine <laughs> no. any situation. I feel like that would mm-hmm. hurt. Yes. Yeah. It yeah. would. Me personally, ouch. Yeah. You know? ouch. Uh, Katie's reading? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> like in this book? Ouch. ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So then we h- hop to. Meryl's apartment, she hears sounds coming and she just knows, oh my God, it has to be the mm-hmm. phantom controlling two of my neighbors and now they're having sex. They would never have sex on their own. Accord. No one in this building would normally have sex, <laughs> but because now a sex demon is out, everybody is. So she is compelled by Tom to go over and watch them and he is like fucking her like a jackrabbit. Yes. And Meryl is just watching and Tom's like, yes, watch. Uh, is is this a threesome? Is this a foursome? Okay. Is Tom also still in Jet's body? And he's able to duplicate himself, go get Meryl and bring her back. Here's, yeah. Guys, I'm sorry. (laughs) I have to say it. Please. I thought that Meryl went to talk to Hallie. I think she did. And then and then she was compelled to go and then he was she was like grabbed in by Jack yes, and Tom. She is. Yes. And then the door was locked yes. she couldn't get out. She is. is. And that yeah, right. part was so confusing. Yes. Because then it made it sound like later they were surprised that she was there. Yes, it or made it she, seem really very very weird. gross. Because if they yeah. grab he was her possessed. He was possessed. He was yeah, possessed. I think a possessed jet grabbed yes. her and pulled her into and the room. It, so if you're possessed mm-hmm. and you grab a third, is it a threesome? No. Yes. No. I think it's a cuckold. I think it's a cuckold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a foursome. Because you get the cuckold you count, and, you count the and the phantom. Just the fact the, that I'm they didn't the know the fact that they didn't know until he was out of Jet's little head that oh, right. that she was there worries me. Yes, the, yeah. that to me is no. That's not a threesome. That's not that's non consensual. She didn't right. want to be there. That's not a threesome. It's yeah, she didn't strange. participate in anything. She didn't yes. participate, and Jet did not want to be there, as evidenced right. by when the Phantom left him. He immediately gets up and yeah. leaves. He felt He's, very guilty yes. and strange mm-hmm. because of their awkward relationship. Right. Yes, 
And he was just waking up naked somewhere that he wasn't expecting. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yes. I, yeah, um, that's what made it so hard to find any of this hot, I think, yeah. is that yeah. it's all murky, like, consent-wise, yeah. and whether any of them even want to be doing it. And it's not totally fixed, I don't think, by the one line of, like, it revealed your yes, desires. Exactly. That's so, no. like, so this is all fine, but it's the experience of reading it, it still doesn't feel No, it's still, awesome. to me, it felt yeah. rapey. It, it did, yes. for sure. Yeah. And if it is really trying to get it, like, no, it's just a sexy surprise, it did not hit that note no. at all. No, yeah. you need characters to immediately be like, okay, oh, yes, like, surprise, yeah. but I love it. I love yeah. It even yeah. said that, like, Hallie was, like, walking backwards until yes. Yes. it took over like to me it was like she mm -mm. was trying to get the fuck out of yes there. Mm -hmm. um this sex scene was terrible yes this was so bad mm -hmm. and it took place across multiple chapters strangely it yes. was odd yes and one of the lines that i thought was crazy once they realized sorry yeah this is so <laughs> confusing okay jet Still carrying Hallie and still connected to her. Right. Step forward inside. in the direction of the hall and of Meryl. Mm -hmm. Then reaching out a hand. So around the back. And Meryl followed it with her eyes with an odd sense of detachment like it wasn't her arm. Those long, beautiful fingers were reaching for with the result that she once again was stunned when Jet grabbed her. And in one abrupt motion, made more impressive by the fact that he was also supporting Hallie's weight, pulled Meryl into the apartment and shut the door after all three of them. So he yes. came. So Yes. while still then, inserted and he in. opened the door like he's answering a FedEx package or whatever <laughs> and then he's like, like thank you come in still. yeah <laughs> closes the door locks it up double checks is still fucking yeah. is that I read that so many times it was so confusing that's what happened though. yeah yeah but that's what happened though Historically, Rika, don't you understand? That's, <laughs> that's what happened. Rika, that's like literally what happened. I'm sorry, that's what happened. <laughs> I did note that never before have I seen someone orgasm and written out. So it's written, oh, ho, hum, mm, mm, God. <laughs> and it looks like it says good because she, you, to make God look like it's longer, she, she, she puts too many O's instead of too many D's. God. <laughs> it's like a cereal mascot. Yeah. Great! <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that written out. And for that, I think it's pretty creative. Yeah, that's, um, that's so pretty creative. Yeah, so sure. these guys keep having sex. There was one little hot moment. Let me see if you guys thought the same. Mm -hmm. Where they're like kind of teasing each other. So they do describe how like the penis goes oh, yeah. in. He's like slowly putting it yeah. in and out a little peekaboo. And then boom, 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 boom. And then like slow again. Yeah. Do you like that? I like that. Yes. Yes. But yeah. I don't like when people use the adjective hammering or like no. slamming, mm -mm. thrusting, no. pun or thrusting, punching. Like punching. Yeah, is what I meant oh to say. Oh my god, when people are like, again, punching. no one did, but no, no. Katie thought. But they, they did. but Katie thought, and that's important right. enough uh, yeah. to address. We should keep talking about. Don't it. hate hammering, but it has to be when the time is right. It has to be when the time is right. Is right. Like build up. We have to earn right. it. Violence. You have to earn your hammer. Any sort of violent part. word is going to turn me off. Yeah. What about a little spank? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these two do it. They finish up. Uh, the girls bond for a bit about what happened. Now she believes that the possession is real. Uh, Haley does. Right. Um, <laughs> and we're in chapter 10 now. Uh, Tom visits Jet. I thought this was a very funny scene. He's basically with them and he's kind of like, I'm a ghost. And then Jet's like, oh yeah, cool. And then he leaves. Drinking, right? He's drinking. Yes. He's at the bottom of his bottle. He's so upset, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. which is very sad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's, very sad. he's like reckoning with the fact that he just maybe assaulted someone or was assaulted himself. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Rushing over that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but he wasn't at all like, oh my God, a ghost. Or there was no, it was just He like, was yeah. relieved. Yeah. He was relieved because he didn't oh, assault this someone. Wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Weird to include. <laughs> <laughs> it shows me that they get it enough, but not enough. No. <laughs> uh, so then uh, Meryl is taking a shower. Um, she's mm. trying to wash off what has happened and she is starting to feel more and more sexual herself now too. Yeah. So she debates masturbating with the shower head and she's going back and forth whether she should, whether it's right, whether she's gone crazy. 
Um, I was reading this like, oh my god, just put it on your pussy already. Like what? Put it on deal? your pussy. Have you guys done this? <laughs> With a shower head? Yeah. No. I've tried. It's not su- super great. Yeah, I don't think, uh, for me, no, I don't think that would do anything. It was one of the first ways that I masturbated, like right. when I was a kid. Yeah. We had just gotten one of those, like, detachable shower heads, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. And when you became, went, when you got into puberty, your parents were like, it's time for Jessica <laughs> to get one of these. <laughs> I've, <laughs> that is. I've, I've never <laughs> had one. I've, I've only used one at, like, a hotel. You so I've never. Must. I, should I go? Do you have one now? No. Well, now I just have cake. Now I know you're, <laughs> what I'm going to get you for your wedding. <laughs> Ooh! I got nothing but shower heads. <laughs> it does feel nice because it's like warm mm-hmm. too and yeah. it's like a nice jet. And then you I can, can control the jet. You can mm-hmm. work your way up to hammering. Right. Yeah. The, yeah, the jet has like a little, like, <laughs> it goes from like little T's to hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you can work it up to. Um, so Tom pops into her mind as she's having this debate uh, and is trying to get her to do it. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's yes. like, do it. He's like, masturbate. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he sort of emphasizes that idea of like, this is what you really want kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and we learn a bit about Tom here, too, about like his kind of backstory and his nature. Yeah. Do we? It, it's I've basically a moment where they're trying to make Tom like a nice guy. Oh yeah! Oh my like god! Him. And they even say, and Meryl was starting to like him to like yeah. even make it be like, in oh, case boy. you really super hated him, our protagonist who is manipulated, possessed, and <laughs> yes. betrayed by this person, this ghost, <laughs> likes him. She was also very uncomfortable that he was there. She yes. like mm-hmm. put on a thing and was like really trying to hide and, her vagina. And then he's like, I've seen. Oh. Which she calls her problem mound. Yes. This is the scene where she but calls her vagina. But don't we all? Don't we all? When, call I, also, when I met the OBGYN, I'm like, mound. this is my little problem mound. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, there's so many parts of my body that I call that. Problem mounds. Problem mound. Yeah. Mostly just the, the, <laughs> yeah, the sexual the sex parts. parts. <laughs> Those are my problem mounds. Uh, but uh, 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 wait, what was the question that... Doesn't oh, he? so she she was uncomfortable with oh, him being yeah, there. Yeah, she he says I've I've seen every type of body before, and you better believe I've seen every inch yes. of yours. And it's like she's like I'm That's even more uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah, so it's very weird. Is this the part where he said he likes like all bodies? Yes, yes, that yes. was nice. Um, <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, I hold on. It's uh, there's a speech that he's been with all different kinds of yeah. people, and that he doesn't judge. Okay, he says if it makes you feel any better, I don't really care about a person's physical traits. In fact, you could say I'm blind to them. I've been with big woman, big women and skeletal men, the two genders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, what a saint. I, I've had them wrinkly, hairy, shiny with scars or bumpy with lesions, the other two genders. <laughs> I've had them fresh and young and I've had them weathered with illness or age. I don't care if they have breasts or a penis. Mm. I don't care if they have breasts and a penis. My only requirement is solidity. If a person has that, I don't care about what kind of form they have. This is my next audition monologue. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Hello, my name is Jessica Ross. I'll be doing I mean, Tom from <laughs> the Phantoms <laughs> Liaison. We're all familiar with that. <laughs> oh, God, this again. <laughs> so, is this comedic or dramatic? Both. <laughs> sexual. Sexual. This is my sexual monologue. Sexual monologue? <laughs> so, this is the point, yeah, where we see Tom's not that bad of a guy. He goes away. She does masturbate with the shower head. Um, then we see Turtle, she runs into Turtle the next day, and he basically makes this weird, just like, ah, it's a living, and then that's the end of the book. <laughs> yes. And um, I, he says he wants to populate the apartment with, with, like, with horny people. With horny sexy people. people. Yeah. yeah. And that they'll just, so that yeah. he'll still make his money, because mm-hmm. that's yeah. all he cares about. Yes. But then the Phantom will get what he wants, mm-hmm. which is sexy And it'll be people. like, maybe more ethical. Yeah, if would it everybody's be crazy down to, to think that the second book is great? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> certainly. Because now I, we've set up it just just kind of like this weird setup to then, and now in the next book you'll get what you thought you were going to get. Yeah. I mean, a bunch totally. of people in a hotel fucking. I guess if we were to read the description of the second book and it wasn't like all the reviews were like, "There's a ton of sex in here," yeah. then this book has failed. I don't want to read it if there's not a yeah. lot of sex. There's got to be. Let me see if I can. I didn't join this book club for no sex. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't join this book show, bookshelf, book club to dry up like a raisin. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to I didn't soak want soak like a grape. In other erotic stuff that y'all have read, what's like, how many sex scenes do you usually get? So many. 
it starts immediately and yeah. it keeps going and it keeps going yeah. to an uncomfortable degree right mm-hmm. and it, uh, eventually your your nether regions get get turned off by it because it's you're so you're inundated by you it you're just like whatever from reading. exactly you're yeah. like this isn't okay another penis mm-hmm. another <laughs> vagina okay <laughs> okay on. i get it yeah i get it mm-hmm. is the so. next one the phantom's pursuit i hope so i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he, it wants me to rate this book before I do it. I'm not. I mm-hmm. not go ahead. What's I the rating? I did not add this one to my Goodreads. Yeah, I don't need people. Knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Goodreads. Sixty uh, percent through the Phantom liaison. <laughs> um. So, ladies, let's rate this one. Not on Amazon, but on our fluffy white couches. Our Do little we, problem mounds. A, our little problem mounds. Uh, <laughs> one being a drought, five being slide off my chair. Monsoon. Monsoon season. Um, can I go, just because I started talking already. Yes. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this This was a one. Dry mm. as can be. Yeah. Mm. Not, a, not a wetness in the air. Yeah. No mm. humidity in this book. Nope. There's no wetness in the air. What about you, Jess? Um, I mean, I, I, I just want it so much more, so I'm yes. a little disappointed. And in moments on my own, thinking about Tom, my version of Tom visiting me, I enjoyed <laughs> nice. it quite a lot. So you enjoyed your own fan, your <laughs> own erotica. <laughs> the erotica in my mind mm-hmm. was uh, at least like a three or a four. Wow. She inspired wow. really sexy she did erotica. Inspire. In her mm-hmm. I mean, I just like I like hearing stories when people say that they have sex with ghosts. Yeah, me I, too. I, Who I doesn't? I definitely mm-hmm. yeah. love to have sex with a ghost. If you're a ghost watching, please, you have my permission. DM Jess. Come into my apartment and make love to me. Um, yeah, I just like the idea of it. I think that it's funny and sexy. Yeah, which so is my you, style. You really love this book, then? You no, it well, but this, unfortunately, I mean, I don't even know what I read. I would have to give this. <laughs> I don't a, know what the hell this was. <laughs> a, a, a one as well. Yeah, it was a yeah. disappointment for sure. Sex wise, I mean, it yeah, was nothing. for sure. I'm I'm also a one. Um, I did like the first sex scene with Hallie and and Meryl. Just isolated, but the whole weird consent thing was awful. Uh, I I wish it was just kind of similar to the last book with like the step sibling element. I did not need this (laughs) weird lack of desire to do the thing element. I just wanted them to want to have sex and then they had sex and then maybe they could be like, oh, should we have? But in a way, we're like, we both wanted this because that was kind of a hot sex scene for like a few seconds. And then it just yes. totally went downhill. Oh, yeah. Totally. Total dry city. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think there were, like, maybe pages of, like, three for me. But then overall, like, yeah, totally a one. Yeah, you were pretty dry. Yeah, pretty dry. <laughs> it was pretty, like, desert. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for all the aforementioned reasons. Yeah. Right, that makes I'm sense. I'm sorry, ladies, because I'm trying to get everybody off. I want everyone to have a good time. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's no, just it's okay. It's, yeah, it's hard. it was a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, this is a giant waste of time, but... It's so fast to read, though, when they are, like... The, I mean, I don't know how many actual pages it is, because we read it in an e-book, but... Yes, yes it was only yeah. by percentages. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then locations? What are the locations? I don't L-O-C? get how we're reading this oh i don't know it's like, i did notice that as well. yeah i don't know what that is library of congress this is in the library of congress <laughs> this will last longer I than we know. do everyone remember that when we're wow. dead and gone this is going to be the next amendment the phantom's <laughs> menace yeah. oh the phantom, no not menace the phantom Jesus. menace I I, I now i get that. why everyone said this is the worst star wars <laughs> yeah <laughs> the sex is so sense. bad <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness thank you all for listening uh of course you can find this if you're watching this on dropout thank you so much um you if you are subscribed to dropout you can get on discord as well which is our messaging channel where you can message katie reka myself uh, anything that you liked about the book and if I'll, you're I'll reading along. To Mollen. Any, yeah. yeah, I've never talked to Mollen again. <laughs> um, anything that you liked about the book, any beautiful fan art that you would like to we send. We would love fan We art. want to see that phantom come. Yeah, we um, want to see that we phantom We all want come. to see that Please. phantom come. Is it little tinier ghosts? I don't know. Oh, uh, or if you're watching this on CH2, thank you so much. Comment below.
below. Let us know what you like, what you didn't like, and we'll do our best to keep <laughs> being better and better people because that's all you really can do. <laughs> yeah. If you are reading along, which is so exciting and we absolutely love, uh, please, our next one, please read uh, Vikings in Space, book one, a Viking... Uh, <laughs> Peace? Peace? I think I wrote that wrong. Oh, a Viking Peace is the longer story. Futuristic sci-fi romance. But the book is called uh, Vikings in Space. You can find it on Amazon for free. Trying to find everything for free. Nobody has to pay anything. We're going to have some hot Vikings doing it in space. Hopefully. We hope. Um, thank you so much, thank everyone, for, for being coming. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Great. Great. Feeling sexy. Katie, say one last sexy thing before we go. Uh, nice. Uh, yes. Uh. Malin. Uh. Whoa, lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Well, on that note, enjoy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hi, I'm Reka from College Humor. Click here to subscribe. Click here for other fun stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I love my job and I'm definitely not trapped in this video. Things are great.